tonight. What's next for Trumpism? According to a report this week, Donald Trump is telling people close to him that he is indeed planning on a 2024 White House run with his eye on Florida Governor Ron DeSantis as his running mate. But whether or not he's the candidate, his policy revolution has already completely transformed the Republican Party. Now there are new plans to make sure that that transformation is permanent. Right at the heart of those plans are what's next guest tonight, former head of the Domestic Policy Council in President Trump's White House and now CEO of the new America First Policy Institute, Brooke Rollins and Tammy Bruce is back with us too. You can see Tammy every day this week because she's hosting Fox News primetime at 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. All right, Brooke, let's start with uh, hearing what you've been up to. It's pretty important stuff. Well, Steve, thank you for having me on. Yes, just a couple months ago, in fact, your uh, just prior guest, Larry Kudlow, and myself, and a lot of the administration officials from the last administration, uh, Rick Perry, Linda McMahon, Chad Wolf, David Bernhardt, lots of superstars, Pam Bondi, uh, launched the America First Policy Institute with the idea that the four years previous, where we had transformational policies enacted and implemented, and truly lives changed across the country, uh, how do we keep those policies? going? How do we continue to build the coalition that, frankly, no one expected, was completely unprecedented, and we saw numbers that we've never seen before from people supporting mm -hmm. these ideas and these concepts that were brand new to the ideas of freedom and liberty and less government and prosperity. So it's very exciting. Um, and Tammy, it feels like this is exactly the answer to the, to, the, to the situation that you so brilliantly described in our earlier discussion about the establishment wanting to take back the reins of power. This looks like the kind of intellectual fight back that we need. Well, it, it is, and it remains a reflection of the Trump ideal and the Donald Trump vision. There may be Trumpism, but it really is the conservative ideal. It is about American personal freedom. I don't know why people are looking at this as though it's some new, you know, crazy scheme, right? <laughs> this, this is what the founders had in mind. Donald Trump, right. I would argue, is exactly the guy that they imagined uh, for, for the presidency. But because of the power of the, this kind of country needs a powerful vision. We see what happens now with no center of gravity in the White House without a single person with a single vision being able yeah, to look exactly. to America with pride to lift her up, that really doesn't exist at this point. So, and I think that what the Biden administration has done really highlights how magnificently successful that conservative ideal as applied by Donald Trump really was because all they've done is reverse uh -huh. everything Donald Trump did and look at That's the condition right. of the country, ranging from the economics to uh, consumer sentiment, to inflation, to violence in the cities, to chaos when it comes to immigration and the border, yeah. to the, the sense of, of optimism of the American people. All they did and all they spent their time doing is reversing what Donald Trump did. It is uh, an obscene gesture to the American people yes. as punishment for daring to fire them. Well, they're going to have that experience again. And I don't think that there's a new vision of what it means to have supported President Trump or what Trumpism means, means or what Brooke is working on. It is a return to the American ideal. It is that simple. And we, we, as, as, yeah. uh, we like experiments. This country's an experiment. And we, we, we trust our fellow Americans. And so when something like this happens with the Biden administration, we are shocked and we're insulted because we've trusted people. And now we're going to have to go back and realize that some people don't mean well and other people mean to lift us up. And that is going to be the fight in 22 and 24. Exactly. Brooke, tell us about some of the specifics you've been working on. We, we talked a few weeks ago, and you, I was excited to hear you uh, talk about your focus on some state level policy making and so on. How are you going to kind of spread this agenda? Well, I think Tammy's exactly right. And you know what, what the last administration, what President Trump really stood for was who rules in America, right? Who gets to decide? And I think that's what he stood for when he came down the escalator. And that was the, the magic, frankly, of the coalition building of people saying, wait, I agree with that. Why is the government telling me who my doctor can be, whether borders are going to be open, what job I can take? That's not okay. And we saw it happen firsthand. What happens when you return power to the people? So how do we build on that, whether it is making sure that the America First agenda of better jobs and better health care and an education that parents get to choose for their own children, whether it is an energy policy that, that lifts up all energy and makes America energy independent, 
independence, securing national security, making sure we continue the fight for those policies, A, in Washington, as we outline the difference between the Biden administration and the Trump administration, but B, taking that fight to the states mm -hmm. and taking those policies to the, to the states and making sure that that America First agenda doesn't just continue for the next two years or four years, but truly for the next 100 years. And that's, I believe, how we save this country as we battle for her soul. There you are. Incredibly important work. I'm so glad that you're leading up the effort, Brooke. Ron, it's great to see you tonight. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.